alcohol, was it as difficult to uh, beat alcohol addiction? Well, it, what was, what, the gentleman asked, what, is, what was diff as difficult for, is, was, what are you comparing the Did alcohol? you have as much support when you were trying to, uh, to quit alcohol as you did? Oh, uh, your this, uh, I, did I have as much support uh, quitting alcohol as I did uh, with this? You know, I, I feel sometimes, you know the, all, the old Allstate <coughs> emblem, you know, with the hands like this? Like, I, I feel sometimes that that's been my life. I had a lot of support. I couldn't do any of this stuff alone. I couldn't, you know, I couldn't have gone through, all, through I've, I've, I've gone through with so many different addictions in my life, you know, just from cigarettes to heroin to cocaine, alcohol, and, and then after you take out all the substances, then you have patterns and behaviors. Because they, one of the things that, one of the sayings that I always thought was pretty funny is that what, ha what happens when you take the booze away from a drunken horse thief? You have a sober horse thief. Right? So this, you know, what they say is there's only one thing you have to change, everything. And, and, and so when I shed, when I, when I, got, when I got past the addictions of, of substances, and then there, were the, then there was the core issues. Because those things, the substances, the alcohol, the booze, or the booze rather, or the coke, or whatever, whatever your drug of choice is, or food, this, it's symptomatic of a deeper underlying condition. The booze wasn't the problem. The booze is neutral. There's people in this audience that can have a half a glass of wine and, and walk. That, that wasn't my experience. It's not the booze. It's what happens to me when, when I take something in. I, I have a personality change. And when I stopped doing that, I had to get to the, to the root causes and conditions of what brought me to that place in the first, in, 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 to begin with. Why did I, I was smart enough to know this wasn't a good idea, but smart people, Smart people do crazy things. Smart people overeat, and uh, or they engage in in in, uh, in in practices that are so contrary to what their soul is actually wanting. And and it's ever, it's actually to me. I, I'm at this point in my life where I believe that every drink I ever took, every line of coke I ever did, every one night stand I was ever involved with, was a, an attempt to connect the divine. Now, I'm not saying that I was, as I'm on my way to Studio 54 for a night of debauchery, that I was thinking, ah, I'm going to connect with the divine. I'm not saying that. I'm saying in retrospect, I was yearning for connection, which is what I think, uh, why we're here. We're here to connect. We're here to, to love each other and to connect with each other in a, in a way that's, that, that expresses our divinity. And everything that is away from that has to do with fear. And when you notice if in your life when there's an absence of fear, and I'm not talking about an egocentric feeling of power, I'm talking about a sense of, of real, where you can almost feel your soul. It's at that point that you're connecting with whoever's next to you in a way that's really expressing your divinity and, and, and receiving and expressing your divinity with that individual. That's where, that's where it's at, that's, that's what life is about. And anything that has anything else to do, with, anything other than that is fear-based. And that's not to say that there's not a world out there that you got to work and you got to feed and all that stuff. But what I discovered is I always thought, let me fix the car, the girl, the job, this, and then I'll make some time and I'll deal with my spirituality. And what I discovered at this point in my life is that it's, the reverse is true. That if I stay aligned or practice being in alignment with my, with my higher self and being mindful, well, God, that's, don't worry, I'm not going to go to the Bible thing. But, it's 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 uh, it's being in centered with my divinity. Then those things are manageable. All those other things become manageable, no matter how they turn out. They become manageable. They don't come become the dominant theme in my life. It's a practice. I'm not there yet, but I, I've seen it. I had a glimpse of it. I've seen it, and and I and I really, it feels really amazing. And and uh, but fear and ego is very powerful. The ego gets it's the loudest voice in your head, and uh, it's certainly loud in my head.